Hi everybody, this is Sanda. You know how much I love technology that actually helps to make our lives better or simpler. And as it's getting close to Christmas, I thought I'd share some of those things or devices that you might want to get for yourself or your close ones. So here they are. In this video, I divided gifts into four different price brackets and six gift ideas in each one of those categories. So there's $50 and under, 30 pounds and under roughly, $200 and under, which is like 130 pounds and under, 150 euros and under, below $500, which is like below 340 pounds, and above $500, above 340 pounds. I hope there's something for everyone. If you wanna skip ahead, find the links in the description below. So the first price packet is all the things under $50 or 30 pounds or roughly 40 euros. And the first one, I'm pretty much also my favorite, is the $29 or roughly 20 pound Kinza Smart Thermometer. That comes in a very nice box. You can connect it with your iOS or Android device and take a temperature from your mouth or underneath your arm. It also has a very simple app that helps you to map uh, when there's a fever in your area so it connects all the other Kinza users. It's very simple to use so it's a great one for your mom or dad or your close ones. So the second under $50 category is tile. Tile is a small plastic square that you can connect either to a key ring as a key holder or anything else in your world. It's connected via Bluetooth to your smartphone so you can track things like when are you going to leave your keys it will alert you or you can find where was the last time this thing was connected. It's a great way for people who tend to lose their wallets, keys or whatever else you, you decide to connect it with. Third in under $50 category is something that I actually use pretty much every day. That's Chromecast, this small thing here. It connects, I connect it to my projector, you can connect it to any other screen and, and stream whatever, whatever you have on your screen. It could be you can cast your Android phone or it's also integrated in most iOS video apps such as YouTube, Netflix and so on. It's a great one, very cheap device but helps you to get everything from your small screen to the big screen. And it comes with some of the games and also now party mode where you can create playlists with everyone else adding to, to your Chromecast player. It's a great device. The fourth one in under $50 category is the $46, I believe, Hubson X4 uh, micro drone. This was the first term, I, I think I've already broken actually one, but this is the second one uh, that helps you to, or teaches you how to control the drone, because the remote is very similar that you have for big ones. It comes at a very low cost, great to fly indoors and learn how to control drone, but also outdoors, though it doesn't really perform well in windy conditions. I would really recommend in getting that if you're interested in getting involved with drones. The fifth one in under $50 category is the Misfit Sleep and Activity Tracker. I've actually had a chance to use it only for a very short time, but it's a great one. It's, it's, it looks neat. You can also have your watch on it. You can use it, keep it as, or wear it as a jewelry or put it on your wrist. It doesn't matter, it, and it works really well and looks great as well. And the sixth and last one in this category is um, Eon Attire gloves. And these gloves actually look like normal leather gloves because I just like to wear leather gloves, but they work very well with touchscreens. So you can keep using your phone um, as, you, as you would in these kind of cold conditions and, and cold weather. So I'd really recommend getting these gloves to, to men. I'm not sure if they do female uh, women version as well of these gloves, but they're great and they cost $49 and they're really well made, really good leather. So now we're getting into the under $200, roughly 100, 126 pounds or 150 euro category. So the first one there is a $99 or 77 pound LifeX bulb, connected bulb. So you can actually connect that without having any additional hardware that you might have with other kind of connected home features. You just screw it into your Edison socket. It comes with all the different socket connectors and you just connect it to your router and that's it. You just open the app and you can start controlling the bulb. So it's very, very easy and someone who wants to get started with connected home, that's a great way to get started. The second one in on the $200 category is Click and Grow. It, I think they come in all kinds of different price brackets. This one is the 100 uh, or 130 US dollars, like 90 euro price bracket. Um, you can literally just put the batteries in, water in, it comes with that kind of attachment light as well and it will start growing the plant itself. So all everyone who's kind of not really good with gardening and that kind of side, this is a great way to get started. You can grow flowers or you can grow something that you can also eat like basil, so it's a really good one to put in your kitchen. It's, first of all, growing yourself is a, is a good habit. Uh, Click and Grow has just developed this smart soil. 
into this smart pot that uh, just works perfectly fine. I already had uh, two of them growing, so I really recommend them to anyone. So the third in under $200 category is Anki Drive Set. And that's something that I've really been fascinated about. And I think if I was a kid, that would be the first thing that I would want for this Christmas. It's actually a racing cars. But they're not just, you know, the ones where you use a remote and you just try to kind of uh, kick each other and so on. But they actually connect with your smartphone so you can have another augmented layer on top of this racing game where you can just kind of shoot each other and they will affect the other car. So it's a really cool way to actually bring this second or dimension um, to this uh, good old racing games that you had on the, on the floor. And this costs you around $149 and also £149 and that's with most of those uh, Gadget things is like they're just so much cheaper elsewhere, but that's another topic. The fourth one in under $200 category is something that I use also pretty much every other day, and that's the Withings uh, Smart Body Analyzer. That's actually a scale, smart scale, so you just, uh, whenever you step on a scale, you recognize the person who's on the scale, take your body fat, your weight, um, and uh, then send the information to your cloud so you can check that information in your app. The other thing that it does that a lot of the other smart scales don't is that it looks at your CO levels in the room, so when you need to open your doors and windows to let some fresh air in, and also temperature over day, so you'll see when you should, when you're not home you can actually save energy when your heating is on or whatever else, so you know uh, just gives you a better insight um, to save. There are also other alternatives out in the market from Fitbit, but they made a decision not to connect with Apple Health Kit and therefore making it only available in their own ecosystem, while Withings is really well connected with Health Kit, but also um, Google Fit in the future. So I would really recommend getting one if you're, if you're interested in that area and measuring your performance. The fifth in on the $200 category is Smart Things. Smart Things is a very simple way to get started with Connected Home comes in a set with connected sensors such as uh, this one which is a movement sensor but also a thermostat. Um, there's also a door sensor, we also act as multi-sensors. Um, you can get started with I think 189 US dollars, it comes with a, with a set box and also the connected sensors, very easy, just plug in and play. The six in under $200 category is narrative clip which you can see on here. It takes a photo every 30 seconds and then you have to connect it to your computer pretty much daily to upload to, upload to the cloud and they will do, this, do the magic, analyze all your photos and you can build a time lapse or just go through your days. It's a very neat, very small, one of the smallest connected cameras or wearable cameras uh, that I worn, which people don't even realize that I have on when you're wearing a jacket or, or something else that you can hide it better than on this t-shirt. It starts with $199, so it's a really good way to kind of have this and, and do your live vlogging. There's also a bonus one for under $200 that I just couldn't leave out because I really like it and that's one of my girlfriend's favorite gadgets. So basically this is made by um, Impossible Lab. Um, you can put your smartphone on top, it's like Instagram size square photos and print them out in the old Polaroid or what uh, the film that Polaroid made famous. It's a really, really fun way to put your memories, I know we're all digital, but put your memories on, on the wall or give them to someone as a gift. I think it's a really fun way to connect the digital with a physical world. And it starts with 129 pounds, which is $200. Uh, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but that's a really good way to to get your memories across and make something yourself that actually matters. So now we're getting into the under $500 category, which is roughly 318 pounds or like 350 euros. And the first one there is a $249, 229 pound smartwatch called Moto, Moto 360. Moto 360 is definitely the best, most well-made smartwatch to date. I just love using it. It looks great on your hand. It comes um, also with a heart rate sensor plus all the other good stuff you get with Android Wear um, and just it also looks good in addition to the previous ones that I've been using. Uh, so really recommend to anyone who's using an Android phone. So the second one in under $500 uh, category is Nest Smart Thermostat. Nest has done a great job in simplifying technology and bringing it to your home, uh, starting with their Nest Protect for $99, but I'm most keen about the Nest Thermostat, because actually it learns and helps you to save energy. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't connect with my system because mine is high voltage, so definitely check that before you go out and buy one. It comes in $249 US dollars, 
and I think it's a, it's a great way to get started with connecting your home devices but also making actually good with it so saving electricity. Third one in under $500 category is Orgo Smart Lock. It costs $249, you can connect it to pretty much most of the locks out there um, and it just gives you this ability, you don't really need a key anymore. As long as you have your phone in your pocket, as soon as you approach the door, the lock will open, you can step in and there is no need for keys ever. You can obviously have all the cloud in the back end as well so you can disable and enable several keys and phones as you're going around so I think it's a great way again to simplify your life. There's also an alternative, a cheaper version called Lockitron which costs I think $179 or like £130. So the fourth one in on the $500 is GoPro Hero 4. It comes in all kinds of different configurations starting from 289 pounds which is like $350 and goes all the way up to 379 pounds for the black edition. I think it's a great one for anyone who goes outdoors and likes to record all kinds of crazy angles and so on. This is still the best action camera that you can buy today that I've used. Fifth one in under $500 category is probably in my wish list for this Christmas. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it but that's Oculus development kit, the second development kit. I've used Oculus in a couple of cases in some of the exhibitions and so on. They're just amazing. And there's, there's getting more and more content out there that you can actually watch videos in, in a 360 dimension world. That kind of just takes you to a complete new level. And I would love to experience that at home. And also playing games with Oculus, I can just keep on going with Oculus. Costs $350 and I think it will be an amazing gift for anyone who's interested in the visual world around us. The sixth one for under $500 category is one that I actually used for a long, long time, but actually sold for now. That's the Sony RX100 camera. Uh, you can get the first one still for just $490. Um, the second and third one is like $649 or $730, but this is definitely the best pocket camera that you can get today uh, from the market. Just go out and see the images. Also check my test here where I was looking at RX100, Sony A7S, full frame camera and smartphone and it truly is a step up from your average smartphone. And now last but not least, uh, about $500 category uh, for your really really special ones. So the first one there is something that I haven't had a chance to use but I've seen so many videos online and I'm so excited to uh, use one one day. It's called Z-Board. Z-Board costs $549 and it's an electric uh, motor skateboard that you can use for commuting so their range is from 6 to 18 miles depending on the, on the model you're getting. Or there's also one, another one called Boosted Board, um, similar one again, uh, they just have slightly different um, engines and slightly different uh, configurations but go check them out, Z-Board, Boosted Board, they're just awesome. And for $549 I think it's a great gift for anyone interested in new ways of transportation or elect electrical transportation in general. The second in about $500 category is something that I actually use pretty much every day to be honest uh, when I'm seeing something on a big screen. That's LG's uh, projector. I talk about it all the time, I don't really have a big screen home, I don't need a big screen at home at all and I'm just using that to project movies or TV shows that I'm following when I'm either in bed to the ceiling or in the living room on the wall. I just connect the Chromecast to it and I can just show whatever I want. Um, the prices start from roughly even $500 from the smaller models and you get a, get a really good um, HD one for $700. Uh, the third in about $500 category is Transparent Speaker. That's made by People People, a Swedish design and product company. Um, they do all kinds of other things as well, by the way. This one, Narrative Clip, was also designed by that team. But I think that's the best looking speaker that you can get today and also the best sounding for its size. You can choose whatever you want to connect with. You can use Airport Express in the back or you can use any other streaming device using a USB port in the back. So it's a great one, future proof, looks great and I would just recommend getting to anyone who can afford to, to go out with $800 for that speaker. The fourth in on the $500 category is DJI 2 Phantom Vision Plus. That was my favorite gadget of this year. You can just literally get it out of the box and start flying in about half an hour. Check out this movie that I recorded uh, from Tallinn, Estonia uh, during this summer and also just a, a video about drones in general and the history of drones if you're interested to learn more about this area. 
They come from all kinds of different configurations like 900 pounds or thousand, uh, $1,100 will get you the one already with a camera. There's also one without camera if you already have a GoPro that you want to use and so on. If you're interested in drones, get your hands on with DJI Phantom and you can't live without it afterwards. So the fifth and the sixth in that um, above $500 category is the Sony A7S camera. Just look at the size. For that small size body, there's a full frame sensor in here with interchangeable lenses, with metal body and so on, with connected Wi-Fi NFC. Um, this is just the best camera that I take always with me when I wanna take really good images. A smartphone camera is not enough. A7S also has a smaller brother called A6000 and this is a great option if you don't want to spend like 1800 for this camera dollars or like uh, 13, 1400 uh, pounds. Um, the A6000 runs for nearly half the price or even less than half the price depending on where you're buying it from and has a crop sensor in there but just amazing in terms of uh, very similar build quality and you can use all the same lenses, E-mount lenses in front of it. So these two will be the fifth and sixth for about 500 uh, and for anyone who wants to get a camera that takes really, really good images. As you might have realized, I didn't include any phones in this overview uh, because phones are such a personal in terms of platforms you choose and the sizes you choose. Um, by the way, check out my iOS versus Android video here if you're interested in learning more about why the, how the that platforms are different. But all of those who want to get uh, some advice on the phones, for Android, there is no better one than OnePlus One um, out there today. They were uh, reserved, they're kind of uh, invite only system, but they're opened up to holidays for $299. You get the top end 5.5 inch screen smartphone with really, built, met, really well built and designed metal body, um, uh, metal frame, sorry. Um, it just feels very solid and it's a great one to use and comes with a naked um, or the bare minimum Android. I really recommend checking that out. If you're interested in spending a little more, I would recommend Moto X2, the second generation, which is like $399 or like 419 pounds. Um, and uh, if you're interested in big phones, which is the one that is my daily driver at the moment, uh, Nexus 6, then um, go and check this out. This is a six inch a uh, big big phone uh, but it's the really good one and the best android phone that i've tested so far uh 499 pounds which is like 649 us dollars um, it is quite a lot for a nexus phone but again you get this uh, bare bones nexus or android feel that is always updated first i recommend checking this out if you're really interested in getting an android phone and for all the ios uh, i would really Obviously, there's no much choice than the two best models out there, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Push yourself to go to the 6 Plus and I'm sure you would, won't regret. I did the same, tested one and tested the other. And this is definitely worth the extra that you're going to pay for it. I hope this overview was useful for you, even if not just for Christmas, then for any other occasions or for yourself to understand more of the different gadgets that are happening around uh, or developed around. These were the ones which are available today. There's so much more exciting stuff coming up in the future. I will be covering most of them here. As you saw, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't actually reviewed yet. So please subscribe, um, hit like and share this with your friends and family. So maybe they will, they will give you one for Christmas. Thank you very much again and see you next time. <laughs>